What I'm going to show you here is some of Synopsys virtual prototyping technology. Uh, specifically, I'm going to show you a VDK, Virtual Development Kit. And uh, if you look at the screen now, I'll show you how you can create one of these from the nice, easy GUI that we've developed that allows you to do that. So what we have here, basically, uh, the concept is exactly the same as the ARM Versatile Express hardware. So we have a motherboard, a set of core tiles with CPUs, and a set of logic tiles featuring Synopsys Designware ha hardware models. So if I show you the GUI now, uh, first thing you want to do is select your motherboard. So if I click OK, you'll see now that the tool will instantiate all the models that exist uh, on, on the motherboard. Uh, you'll see these coming up on the screen any minute now. Okay, so now we get a second GUI and this now allows you to select uh, core tiles and logic tiles for your system. So if I click on here, uh, you get the list of the available core tiles and you can see we have core tiles featuring uh, Cortex A15, A57 and uh, Big Little. And if I select one of those, I'll select A57 and click OK, that now becomes equipped in the, uh, in, the, in the virtual slot, if you like. I can now go over here and start equipping uh, the hardware I'm interested in. So as I said, as I mentioned, we have um, models of Synopsys Designware uh, hardware here. And uh, I'm going to pick a USB model. So I'm going to the USB library, pick USB 3, click OK. And that now gets instantiated uh, in your simulation. I can actually stack these up so um, I can have more than one uh, logic tile in there at any one time. So I'll go in and select another one. Here we're, we're uh, putting an Ethernet model in there. Now if I click OK. So I now have my, my system set up. And if I click Apply and Save, the system will now go and create that virtual prototype for me. Now, while the system's painting uh, the, the various models, I'll just explain that we also have uh, software images to go along with this. So um, not only is this a product uh, that has um, the hardware covered, we also have Lenaro uh, software images which come with the system and which you can boot up and, and run straight out of the box. And this gives you a head start when you're doing development for, uh, for designware uh, models and also for your own IP because this system will also allow you to import your own models in there and uh, allow you to develop drivers for that as well. Okay, so that the uh, platform's just about complete now. The next step would be to build the platform, but that, that takes a little bit of time. So what I'll do is I'll just show you the output from one that I built earlier. I'll say no. So in this window, you can see uh, this is the result of a virtual platform, and you can see it's running Lenaro ARM V8 on an, an A57 uh, ARM fast model. And um, so this shows you that you can actually interact with, with that software. You can uh, instantiate your own drivers. You can run applications. And not only that, you have visibility into the system through VP, what we call VPA. And what this is is a... Uh, like a, a debugger that allows you to look and see what the software is doing. So you can look at the software, you can set breakpoints, etc. But not only that, you can look at what the hardware is doing too. So here, what I have is um, a display that shows me the Designware USB 3 model, and I can see all the registers in that model, and I can see the hardware signals on that model. And again, I can set breakpoints on those. I can set break. I can look at the signals and uh, trace what's happening on it, what's uh, what, what the signals are doing. And so, this is where you get the unique ability to look at not only the software in your system, but also the hardware. And this is the unique uh, ability of, of of virtual prototyping.